Hello everyone, my name is William and today I'm going to be showing you how to get on to the Bridge 21 app. When you first turn on your computer, your laptop or your Mac, first thing I need to do is open up one of my browsers. There are three browsers that I use. You may have a different one. It doesn't matter which one you use. They will all will work. I have Brave. I also have Internet Explorer here down at the bottom and I have Google Chrome, which is this round symbol. I'm going to use Google Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Chrome. It will bring up my search window. Um, what we're interested in here is this search bar in the middle. My search bar says search Google or type a URL. I know a lot of you may have a white background. Doesn't matter. You may have a colorful background. Doesn't matter. What you do need to find is that search bar. Click on that search bar. Um, as you can see, when mine came up, it's showing me my last searches. I could go ahead and just click on Bridge 21 online, or I could click in the search bar and simply type in Bridge 21 online and then click enter. My search brought up the website right away. I can see by the www.bridge21online.com. I can also see that the link says Bridge 21. I will go ahead and click that Bridge 21 link and it brought me up the website you should see the exact same thing. Now, for those PC users and Mac users, the next step is to simply click on the play on web. And you're going to find that to the left of where it says Canada's number one online bridge group. So over to the left, there's a moniker that says play bridge 21. Underneath, it says play on web. Simply click this button. You'll see the loading icon. This is all normal stuff, by the way. It, it's, it's loading up the app into your browser. Now I have logged in before. That's why I see touch to start. Once you've logged in, this is all you'll need to do at this point. Press touch to start. I'm gonna click on this login icon and it's gonna bring me back to what you will see when you first log into this website. Um, I'm gonna to go to the bottom and I'm gonna sign in with an email. Right now it's asking for my email address and it's asking me for my password. If you do not have an account already, you're going to need to create one. To do that, press this green button at the bottom that says create account. The other green button is for people who already do have an account and they may have forgotten their password or simply they wanna make a new password. So you can click forget a password, follow the instructions. But I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna show new users how to create a new account. So simply press the create account button and type in your email. I'm going to use livebridge21 at gmail.com. Make sure I spell that right. And enter your password. And once you've made up your password, again, I would make something simple. Our security is superb. We use the latest technology. We're way ahead of anybody else. Um, but still, the password is simply your way and your access point into your um, account inside the app. So I suggest something simple and make sure you write it down. So after I'm done, I'm going to create my account by pressing create. Email account created successfully. I press OK. Great. Now, one more time, I'm going to have to re-enter my information. Livebridge21 at gmail.com. And then I enter my password. And I press login. Now, the next thing, if this is your first time logging in, um, it will ask you to enter a unique username. It could be any name you want. You could use your real name. You could use a name you made up. It does have to be a unique name to the app. If you use the same name that somebody already else has, you're not going to be able to use it. So I'll make up my name, LiveBridge21. Once I'm satisfied with my name, I'll press confirm. And there, I'm inside the app. Once again, you can change your name anytime you like. You can go up to where it says Live Bridge. I'm going to click on that name. 
and it brings up my profile change username i'm going to change it to let me see here All right, great. Once I'm finished here, I can simply click X. Oh, great, my name's been changed. Here a second. So from the lobby, if you do need to purchase, say, more coins or more diamonds to uh, play more of the uh, higher end games, you can go down to where it says shop at the bottom and click on that grocery cart. Now, our app is new, we are giving away a few freebies at the moment. So we have 5,000 free coins. To get those, I simply need to press the green button. It says it's charging you zero diamonds, so it won't take away any of my 100 free diamonds that I've been given. Click that zero. It's gonna ask me, am I sure? Yes, I'm very sure. All right, purchase successful and look at that. I've got 5,000 free coins. If I wanna buy diamonds, I click on this rectangle. If I wanna buy coins, I click on this one. I'm looking for diamonds and I can choose my diamond amount. You will notice that the higher you go up, it does give you free amounts of diamonds. Um, the other important thing to note is if you're buying diamonds inside the app on the website or a browser, it's going to be cheaper. Um, you don't have to pay the Apple tax or the Google tax. So me, I am going to play a tournament later on, so I need to buy $10 worth of diamonds, you will buy 1,200 diamonds. Go to pay. I'm going to use my debit card. And I simply need to fill out the information. And once I'm done filling out the information, I click on pay now. You will get a receipt in your email. And if you do have any problems, uh, feel free. Now that I'm finished here, I will go back to the game. And it brings me back to the mall. To get out of the mall, I simply need to press the back button. There, it takes me to the lobby. In this section of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to join a game. For now, you need to click on the tournament area, which is this diamond shape. It will bring you into the tournament section. You need to click on which tournament you would like to join. Um, for now, we only have one area, the Bridge 21 area. Now you have three options here. These options are very important. For one, this area shows you your game history. You can go into any game that's been played and take a look at all the history, the way cards have been played, the way hands have been played. Or you can go into register. And in, in the registry area, you can find games. Um, if I'm looking for a specific game, I can simply come over here to the left, click on the name and type in my game. I'm gonna just type in Gord and press search. Ah, excellent, it brought up Gord's Saturday game. Now to join this game, I do need to enter it. Um, to do this, I simply need to click on this green rectangle. It will bring me into the registration desk. I can click on the registered button to see who's already registered. Nobody's registered yet. I'm going to click off to the register area and I'm going to find a partner. I can also specifically in, invite a partner if I know their specific name for this game. If not, I can go to find and I can add myself to the partnership desk. I'll show you that one more time. I can click the find button. It will bring me to the partnership desk and I can add myself as I pay or partner pays. I'm gonna select partner pays. Once I'm finished, I can move this up and down by clicking on any of the names or any of the areas and dragging them up and down. There are only three people at the moment in this game. Um, if, I, if more people join while you've added yourself or are at the partnership desk, simply click this recycle button and it will bring up any new players. You can also be selected to join up with somebody randomly by picking this random button. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to play casual games. So thank you very much, and we'll see you around and hope to see you in one of our games.